Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Lothar Schmidt and Herzog. This game was played in Dresden, Germany in 1943. Schmidt had white pieces and he started with e4. Herzog played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, Rui Lopez. a6, bishop to a4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. How to defend the pawn? Castling is the most played move. Sometimes white plays d3, also d4. In our game we have queen to e2 b5, bishop to b3, bishop to c5, a4, rook to b8, pawn takes pawn on b5, a takes on b5, developing the knight to c3, and herzog castle at king's side, d3, d6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, bishop to g4, pinning the knight. Knight to d5 attacking the pin knight. Knight to d4 attacking the pin knight. Is this copycatting or is this copycatting? It is known that if black copies white, he may eventually get in trouble. It is white move. White can already trick black. Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? In the game, Lothar Schmidt played a killer move. Apart from the killer move that was played in the game, White has also this variation available to him. Bishop takes knight, and after bishop takes knight on f3, then queen to e3, after queen to d7, queen to g5, threatening checkmate, knight to e6, queen to g3, and white is winning. Back to our game. Lothar Schmidt did his calculation, and he confidently played knight takes knight on d4, sacrificing the queen. Bishop takes queen. Well, copycatting doesn't work anymore. If now, Knight takes on d5, then queen takes on g4 is possible, this is winning. And also bishop takes queen on d8 is winning, because after bishop takes on e2, knight takes on e2, and white is a piece up. After, say, rook takes, bishop takes on d5. Back to our game. After knight takes on d4, we have bishop takes queen. Why to move? What was the idea behind the queen sacrifice? Play with white pieces, Walter Schmidt had to see it before he sacrificed the queen. The move is bishop takes knight on f6. Pawn takes bishop. Why to move? White played the move and black resigned. The move is the move is knight to c6. Black resigned. White knight is attacking the queen, and where is the queen going? If queen goes to c8, the knight from d to e7 check, king to h8. Knight takes queen, rook takes knight, king takes bishop, and one more thing. After knight to c6. If bishop takes on d3, then c takes on d3. And again, the same thing. If queen goes to c8, white continues with knight on d to e7 check. And wins the queen. That is why play with black pieces resigned in this position. What do you think? of this game. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.